Hey, it's Eli, aka Atlas. The female body is a little more streamlined than the male one. Of course, this depends on the physique, but for our intents and purposes, they are quite different. While the male body places more emphasis on size and definition, the female body is softer and more subtle. For rendering, we're going to be using much less lines than on him. Again, we start with the shield, but halfway down, we widen the shape out. So we start with the shield, then we widen it out. These will be the jet of the hips, and the reason we do that is so the legs will make sense. And that is so that it gives it that nice feminine form. It's got the bit of the thigh gap there. The quad muscles. The female torso is differentiated from the male one, especially because of the breast. As you can see here, unlike some depictions, real and otherwise, you might see on the internet, these are affected by gravity and fall where their weight is shifting. down and to the respective sides. So it's hanging down and going slightly right for the right arm, down and slightly left for the left arm. And that leaves a pretty wide gap right in the middle. And you can see the construction of it right there. If it was a person and they were certainly skinny enough, you'd see the ridges of the collarbone and the sternum. The lats aren't as pronounced as on the male torso either. They're very subtle and really keep the curve of the body going. So, principles as the same as the last one. Start with the head. Neck. Shield line shoulder blade, have a taper, that's the lats, go down just a little bit, but not as much as for the male one, have it jut out a bit, you can have it go, the ratio and dimensions could be, uh, I think there's a number, there's an actual number for what is the ideal bust to hip or width or shoulder ratio, I don't remember the actual name of it, but the way I do it, you can either have the hips meet where the shoulders are at, or you can have them go a little bit wider, and that kind of keeps everything very nice and uniform. And from there, we're going to have it go down in a triangular shape. You can see that already has a very distinct look from the male figure we have right up here. This one is already looking a little more slender, a little more feminine. Smaller shoulders. Women's shoulders aren't as large as men's. Shoulders stop right there before the lines start to taper in. Again, we start with the arms. Arm stops at the taper line because that's where we're going to place our rib cage. Forearms come down, stop just a little bit above the crotch. Now we're going to add the chest. Some people, uh, they just draw the breasts as straight up circles. I actually used to do that myself, but as I've progressed as an artist, I realize that it is not actually like that. So we are going to have these start kind of in the midline across the shoulder. And they're almost teardrop shaped. 
you never want your breast to start too high up because in real life that would create problems. The collarbone and the sternum need some room to breathe. So we're going to do these teardrop shapes near the edges of the shield, which is the body itself. Then we can place the ribs and that is technically it, but you can add the obliques right there, just slightly above where everything starts to taper. Add the belly button and she's just about ready to go. Typically, uh, you know, you can make the neck a lot slimmer than on a male. And you don't have to make the trap so big. This is actually, well, I'll put hair there. We are going to replace that with some hair. So that'll make it make a little more sense. The lines are a little straighter, less uh, angular than on a male figure. And that's the outline. The breasts are casting a bit of a shadow down here. Lighting is overhead. And because the way the breasts have weight, the nipple's not going to stay front and center. That only works if the character is wearing some kind of a bra or a support or some kind of outfit that would allow for the thing to be pushed up a bit. Instead, they're going to fall a little more to the sides. folds under the arm for the armpits wrinkle you can draw the rib cage how you want here some people like their rib cage on their female drawings very pronounced some people less pronounced I just keep it simple some lines we're not gonna give her the ribbed you know muscles on the side want to keep the drawing a lot more cleaner the rules for the arms can still apply but I wouldn't uh, make the lines as hard so that rule about accent lines and broken lines really applies with female drawings let's give her some hair to fix all of that Another tutorial on doing hair, the right way by the way. I did that and you can find it in my YouTube video library as well. Women are a lot leaner than men so you can see a little bit more of the bone structure, less of the muscle structure as it compared to the male drawing. And that is a very basic female body. Once you get that under control, you can tweak and shape and reshape and change the proportions and sizes of everything as you see fit. Now let's take this from the important view, the 3 fourth. Sana. 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 Sana.